Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> it's kind of a cold one this morning. We got down into the 30s last night. I'm going to attempt to do this as a coffee review. I found out something about that professional selfie stick, and that is on an Android device when you plug that headset in with, you know, to, or that headset plug in to make that button work on the stick, it thinks you've plugged the mic in. So any camera footage that you record on that thing facing yourself, well, you don't get any audio with it. Now what's weird is the, the camera facing away from you, it will use the audio from that. So I got this half and half bunch of clips in my machine. And I gotta gather up some other material now to put it all back together, but uh, I got the brewing of this stuff, but I don't have all of the audio to the video that facing so I'm redoing that this is all these Peruvian coffee when I'm reviewing I've just finished brewing it and uh, we're gonna give it a try now and I'm gonna give you a synopsis okay we are back sorry about that had to get rid of the stragglers I had to take the thing off the selfie stick there so I could actually do this. And we've got something not pleasant flying around in here. Well, it is warming up and now all the vermin are starting to come in through windows and such. Uh, what can you do? As long as they stay away from things. So I'll go ahead and we'll grind us up two cups worth. There we go, and I'll return as soon as I get that together. I don't know if you can see down in there or not, but uh, yeah, that's about the uh, roast of the coffee. It's it's a pretty dark roast. Smells smells very very good. <laughs> Can't wait to give it a shot. All right, so the coffee is in the machine now, and <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> let's go ahead and crank her up should make exactly one cup water is in everything's prepped so now we wait for it to brew I mean there's not really a lot to say about it I've never tried this but from what I can tell the taste of the bean it's pretty good and this will take a little bit to come on up and run this particular machine has to build up a slight head of pressure before it starts uh, making a cup but once it gets moving it <clears throat> it gets moving pretty good so I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch coffee brew, so I'll just pause it. I lied. Here it is, and here it, here it comes. It's starting to make. Mm. So let this brew a little bit, and uh, it is a darker coffee from what I can tell. This, this is going to be an interesting adventure here, trying this out. I know that some South American coffees are pretty stout and some are actually pretty good so uh, we're gonna try to find out which one we have here but I'll give you another look at this I don't know how good the camera is going to focus on it but this is what we're what we're uh, using here this is the uh, Peruvian coffee single sourced fair trade company media it says medium roast but I think it's a bit stronger than the other one was so we're going to give that a shot. Oh, man, the kitchen is just filling with the smell of that coffee. That smells so good. But it's like I said, so far from the taste of just the bean, I would have to say that there's definitely a, a stronger coffee, a stouter roast. I'd say it's been in, in there a little longer and probably put through a slightly different roasting process than the other one. Because it does have a... it has a sharper sharper taste but the real test is going to be when that comes out is the actual finished cup we're going to see how the flavors play out in this so i'm going to pause and through the magic of video we will pick up where we left off now what i can say about the peruvian single source coffee fair trade company that aldi makes it's not as mild and subdued a flavor as the Honduran coffee. 
Sorry guys, I'm having to turn my head a little bit to look over at the uh, security feeds. We've had some interesting weird things going on here since yesterday. We had a person on the property, some kid messing around back there on a four-wheeler. And just tearing up the uh, walk paths and stuff with it and had to run him off. Didn't have to get the cops involved though, at least not yet. But I do have a camera stationed out there now. The other trouble is one man with acreage trying to manage all that, but that, that's another thing. But getting back to this coffee, this has a, a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's the most, it's, it's a rich aroma, very much like the Honduran coffee when you, uh, when you open up the bag and when you brew it. And it, it will fill the kitchen with this good coffee smell. Uh, as far as the taste goes with this stuff, it's, like I said, it's not that deep, mellow flavor that the Honduran coffee has. This has a little sharp to it. it. I think even though they say it's a medium roast, it's actually roasted a little darker, or it's roasted with, with some other additive in it with the coffee to give it more, uh, more, uh, what do I want to say? It's not bad bitter, it's good bitter. It's like, instead of coffee, it's coffee, you know. It's really good. I would say I've already committed it to the grinder. I've put it in the one month supply grinder. And I'll just be grinding this gradually producing it from the beans. Um, I've gotten to the point where I almost always do whole bean coffee. There are some pre-ground coffees I still get. I like Don Pedro. I like Uban. But I haven't bought any of them. Golly, my Mm, these new glasses make you itch it's sticking in there but I have to use and this screen's a little bright for me um, and it makes my eyes do weird things so you'll always ever see me except for a couple of videos <laughs> with sunglasses because staring at that blinding white screen to shoot the video is, is not a fun endeavor but it does give me the feedback I need so anyway, uh, yeah, very, very good coffee. It has a good flavor. It's a different mix of flavors. It's like I said, it's definitely, you can tell, it came from a different uh, different country of origin. And it's it's brewed, uh, not brewed, but it's, it's roasted differently and it's prepared differently. It gives you a little bit of a kick. It's warming me up. Like I said, it was 30-something this morning when I woke up and... It was warm when we went to bed, and so we just left the windows open thinking, you know, they're saying that warmer weather is coming, you know, the next day. Well, that forecast was crap. It's best, I guess, to trust your own gut instincts about things. I kind of had this thing in the back of my head saying, it's going to get cold tonight, and boy, it did it. I'm glad we had a heater on in the bedroom, and I got a heater on in here, but this floor is cold as a block of ice. One of the things any of y'all are going to learn if you live in a trailer house or you live in a pier and beam house, which is a house up on blocks, that floor is cold. You better get you some fuzzy slippers throw you some rugs down here and there around on that hardwood floor because that sucker <laughs> you won't be able to feel your feet after a little while walking around but uh, yeah, nothing like a good cup of coffee in the morning this is an agreeable cup I mean it's I'll tell you right now the Honduran coffee was beans of coolness but this isn't far from it this is actually pretty good too this, if, if you like a robust coffee with just a little bit of bite, a little bit of bite, this will do it. Even mixed weekly, this has a, a little bit of white, a uh, white, a little bit of bite in it. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Not bad at all, my friends. And on a cold morning, it's like I said, nothing warms you up as good. Maybe hot cocoa if, if you're not a coffee fanatic, but... 
I wouldn't recommend this strong as a beginning coffee. If you've never had coffee before, I wouldn't play with this as a first coffee. Unless you just, you know, I don't know. It, I guess it could make a good first coffee. And this is one of those coffees, if you drink it, you're either going to love it or you're, or you're not going to like it. It's not overpowerful. But if you have a kid's palate and you don't really like anything on the bitter side at all, this probably isn't the coffee for you. Hmm. It's not quite like the oil rig coffee that we used to drink out with my grandfather. That stuff, you could stick a spoon down in it and it would stand up, man. That was some strong coffee out there that's... Those roughnecks, man, they, they need motor oil to wake up, I guess. But that coffee would get you going. That's where I learned to drink coffee was, was with my grandpa way the heck out there. That's one of the things I miss. It's one of the things I miss. It was a lot of fun as a kid and as a teenager learning about how to drill for oil. You know, and hanging around on those oil rigs and watching those roughnecks work and sometimes helping them a little bit, you know. He was always scared I was going to get myself killed up there on the rig floor, you know. And he may have been right. There's some dangerous stuff up there. He's like, you won't even see it coming when it gets you. And there was an accident. There was a manifold up there that had, you know, they have accumulators on those rigs that build up huge pressure. And they had a manifold that blew off on the rig floor. It took off part of a man's head. So, yeah, there are some dangerous things up on the rig floor. And those roughnecks are definitely earning their hazard pay being up there. But, uh, you know, I've helped with things. I mean, I've helped them bring caustic soda to the mud tanks. You know, the other things that you have to mix in, you know. So, I don't want to just sit out there and, and do nothing, you know, while these other men are working. So you got to do something. You should help if you can. I didn't want to feel like an extra pair of arms that wasn't getting use, you know. Every man on the rig should do something. And so I did, you know. But that was, you know, it, it wasn't any technical stuff. It was mostly manual work, you know, stuff that wouldn't get me killed. And I miss my grandfather. And it's mornings like this when it's cold, cold, and I have a strong cup of coffee that I think back to those times we had, you know. We used to get strong coffee in the mornings like this and we'd go fishing. We'd get up at like 4 and 5 in the morning. And we'd get that big bass boat rigged up and we'd get it all hooked to the truck and get the water into the live well. We'd pour water into the live well and get everything working, get the pumps, make sure everything was good and the batteries were charged, you know. That part we did the night before, you know, the charging of the batteries and stuff. And uh, he checked the motor, everything out, you know, and then off about 5 to 5.30, before the sun was even up, we were out of that driveway and we were heading to Gibbons Creek, or we were heading to the Trinity River. We even fished up at Lake Fork in the winter time. Golly, that was cold. That was that was extreme fishing, I'll tell you what. You wouldn't think there is a such thing, but you get out on that water before sunrise, just before the sun comes up. And there's a cold, there's a spike of cold. It's not quite it's it's kind of like how it is on land, you know, just before the sun comes up, you get a sudden drop in temperature, but out on a lake, you will freeze your you freeze yourself pretty bad out there. Yeah. If you don't have some of those coveralls that are insulated out in that boat in the morning when it's like below zero out there or close to it when that first when that sun starts coming up, that cold flash is very pronounced out on the water and you will freeze your butt off if you aren't ready for it. I can remember days as a kid out there, you know, even before I was a young adult. 
we would uh, go fishing and we'd have ourselves our lunch set up man we'd fish for bass out on the trinity river and we'd eat those beanie weenies and hey man it was a good time man you know my grandpa was like a dad to me he actually probably is he's more of a father figure in my life than a lot of others you know my stepdad is he's my dad and then there's my dad I've seen him on and off mom split up with him when I was young but he still every now and then pops up visits are always friendly I'm glad I had a chance to reconnect with him it wasn't an ugly thing it's just some people aren't right for each other you know and people will try to force it and really you gotta do what makes you the happiest person you know you gotta do what holds your happiness up you can't go through life without being able to smile or be happy you know and it just was the fact that mom and dad were not compatible and so they went their separate ways it wasn't an ugly thing it just was what it was you know, mom has different things that she wants out of life, and dad had things that he wanted out of life. And so he went his way, and mom went hers. And, uh, but we reconnected, and I have no faults with my dad as far as his character as a person. He's all right. He was a hard worker, too. Just like his dad, my grandfather. In fact, I would say, in and through all the things that I had been through as a child coming up in life I look more to my grandfather as, as a father figure so when he passed away it was very much like my dad passed away and the thing I remember that hurt the most was when I went up there um, and I visited him on the last day that he was alive how this strong man with great integrity, hard worker all his life, did for everybody that he was related to, you know, his, his immediate grandchildren, his immediate family. I heard he had a fiery temper when he was younger, but to see this strong man so fragile laying in that bed with just hours left to live. And even before that, you know, um, within the last year of his decline to see him go down like he did when I knew how he was even even a year before you know he was in his 80s but he was a strong man he worked it's like I said he worked hard at everything he did he was a mechanical genius I don't think I can compare to my grandfather as far as the ability to fix and repair things I have some of the skill but he was a very skilled man that man could take one of those giant caterpillar engines on one of those rigs, an engine as big as a shipping container. He could take it apart, overhaul it, put it back together in a day. You know, that's the kind of stuff he was good at. His, his skill as a mechanic was, was amazing. And he could do it with twine and bailing wire. You know, that's just an old cliche. He could do it with parts that he had to put together. If he couldn't get the part and it had to run, he could make it run. You see about finding people like that today, you know. Now, her grandfather, when uh, when I met him, he was... He was uh, so much like my grandfather. It was like having him back for the few years that I knew him, and when he passed away... Excuse me. When he passed away, it was like having my uh, grandfather back, and it was like going through it all over again. <clears throat> it hurts to talk about those kind of things, but you know, it's it's who the people were, and you'd be doing them you'd be doing them a disservice.
to omit things about them. But again, watching her grandfather in decline was, uh, was like watching my grandfather in decline all over again. But that's what coffee reminds me of. When I have coffee on cold mornings, it brings them back. And, um... For that little bit of time, I'm communing with those I loved who passed. You know? So, um, there's a little piece of me y'all just heard about. <laughs> oh. We are allowed to cry for certain reasons, you know. And I think your father figure, remembering back, sometimes is a good one. I'm not crying, but you're allowed to have some tears, and I do. Here's to you, Grandpa. Miss you a lot. I hope that wherever he is on the other side, I hope he's got him a, a nice lake and a boat to fish out of because it's what his whole life was after he retired. He loved it. He used to joke about it. He said, one of these days they're going to find me keeled over in a bass boat. <laughs> Doing what I like to do. Well, didn't quite end that way, but, you know. He passed away among family. We were all there. I was there the last day. A strange thing about that. Excuse me one minute. I've got to uh, pause this. Well, no, I just won't. God, I... Excuse me. <clears throat> he had a lot of family that loved him, and we all did. And in a way, he taught me a lot of the things I know in life that helped me get by as a man. Yeah. I think between him and the scouts, I pretty much learned everything I learned as a, as a kid, you know, and as a young adult. I'm sorry this went this way, but, you know, that's what this reminds me of. This reminds me of the coffee we used to drink. And when I was a kid, I was all over the place. I was I was a stupid SOB, man. Blah, 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 all over the place. You know, you can't pay attention to anything for, for any length of time as a kid. And uh, he used to call me Squirrel. That was that was a joke name. <laughs> yeah, and there were times I was mad at him. <clears throat> but you know, you ought to be mad at everybody at some point in time. Well, all right, everybody, I've taken enough of your time, and uh, have a good cup of coffee. Try this stuff. It's Peruvian blend. It's, it's a very good coffee. 
if you want something with a little bite and even getting cold like it is from us talking here which is part of why I was talking I needed time for this to cool to give my evaluation it's minimally acidic I don't think it's changing very much if you have problems with coffee causing in indigestion then uh, this might not be the coffee for you but it's it's uh, it's fairly stable oh, excuse me give it a go give it a go and I'll try to integrate this into the imagery I have I'm really gonna try hard to get all this together and make this review work like I said I lost half my footage and I only had one bag of this and I really wanted to uh, open this and and do all that on camera so we'll see what I can do with the material I have y'all have a good one and be kind to someone today